A unique club in one East Tennessee high school turns students into professional comic artists. As Emily DeVoe tells us, you can find their work in local comic stores, at conventions, and even at the University of Tennessee. Their ears like stick all the way out. They're like antennas. At Fulton like, High School, have you seen Allie's the art? comics club like is weird. more than an after class activity. The first time that I actually saw somebody buy a comic that had my work in it, I was like, Oh, this is the real deal. They have their own series of comic books to prove it. When you see it on paper, it's way different than when you're like drawing it like yourself. And when you see it like printed in a real book, it's like, oh, I need something. I want to do it more realistic than this. this Students write, draw, and produce their own comics that they compile into a book each school year. It's like really fun because it feels like people are interested in what you're doing. So far, they've published four issues filled with stories the students create themselves. The one that I'm working on right now is called Dragon's Odyssey. Originally, I wasn't even going to give any of my characters hair. With the fifth issue already in production, the students are working on an additional book this school year to celebrate the club's 10th anniversary. Now we're going to try to be pushing for two or like one a semester and then one another semester, which I think that's really nice. Yeah. Iona Jones is the club's creative yeah, director. Okay. Which one has the softest here? Her yeah. friend, Alethea Cullimore, is the art director. They're juniors, but join the club as freshmen. We try to keep this club very open to ideas and very open to other people's different types of tastes and interests. Three, two. For the students, the highlight of the club is getting to attend conventions like Fanboy Expo. I love being at conventions. Students sell their books and run their own booth to promote the club. There was this one kid, and I think she was like a little girl, and she came up to our booth and like she had her little sketchbook, and then she showed us all of her art, and then she was like, do you think that I can do this too? And I was like, of course you can. Last summer, the library at the University of Tennessee added the school's comics into its special collections, and area comic stores carry the books as well. Significant milestones for an after-school club. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. Now, students say one of their favorite parts of creating comics is getting to talk about issues that are important to them through the art medium. And we're coming right back after a quick break on this Friday afternoon.